the bolt back. And I took <laughs> it. <laughs> Black Caleb is here for well, this. <laughs> <laughs> all about this. And it's like, oh, oh, look, he can't be mean. He's so bad. <laughs> that, that, that bad. Rude. Guy. Now he's just kind of fat. And he also had fucked up teeth. And he's up uncanny teeth. fat. He was almost like Appalachian, like, you know, oh, he's a, he's a <laughs> jolly Appalachian fat, like really fat guy. Yeah. Now, you have, now he's got fucking like nice ass teeth, and he's just kind of fat. Um, Cringe. And, and there's also this thing with YouTubers where like, when a YouTuber's 30, it's like, okay, YouTuber. When a YouTuber's 50, and you could tell that they're trying to still be 30, there's kind of this like inherent cringe to that. I like seeing 50 year old um, people say, oh man, Sniper Wolf's L Riz. That's yeah, my favorite for thing. sure. So oh, I yeah, think Boogie yeah. was still had stuff teeth and was still extra fat, I, I think we would all just still be, he'd be pulling two, 300k a minute. No but. way, no way. I think you're you're really boiling I, I, it down. I'm yeah. a little facetious, but also the other thing is this. He was, I don't know how many people in the internet world or any media world that get known as being likable maintain likability for that long, right? Especially when you're doing live streaming. Imagine if Mr. Rogers from way back in the day was live streaming for three, four hours a night. Eventually, maybe he's not as nice. We just happen to see him through this very polished. Dude, I like this. Room, I'm, right? I'm with you 100%, except uh, the, the ones that have the nice guy reputation that are actually nice people keep that nice guy reputation. Like, uh, Markiplier is a pretty beloved character by everyone, right? He has that nice guy vibe, and he's been a nice guy on the internet for a decade, right? So, yeah. it's not Problem like it's impossible, is... it's just Boogie doesn't strike me as a nice guy. I don't think Boogie's, in my view, I don't think he's a bad guy. And maybe he was posturing to me, because I was working on a project him, whatever. I don't think the guy is a, a mean guy. He just has a lot of dumb ideas. Like, he is a horrible PR manager. If I and we, I was talking like, dude, if I knew since 2015, you'd still, I, I don't know, I'm sure Markiplier's nice, or all these people are nice. Boogie is nice, he just has ideas that are dumb that he doesn't not do, right? And he never had any, and I would tell this to him, he has, he's, I think he genuinely means well most of the time. He just has, get these things in his uh, head to do, and there's not that, like, business, PR manager to kind of be like, yo, let's not say it like this, let's say this. Listen, I, I think the, okay, I, th I think the biggest elephant in the room here is it's like this. Okay, that, that one, but the I'm other sorry, thing is I like, to. I, I regret, when, I immediately regret everything. When we mention Markiplier and all these other characters, right, what is the big difference between Markiplier, um, you know, Oompaville is a likable guy, I've never seen anybody dislike you, you Charlie is a nice guy. Yes. Uh, you know, fucking everyone I've ever really oh talked to that can maintain their personality. It's a pretty nice guy. What's the big That was really fucking stressful. Between Boogie and Jesus all these people. Christ. What's the big outlier? Do you guys know? Skinny. 